Howdy, and thanks for checking this out. Uh, for those of you who have been following this, uh, today we're going to finish up the contour map on Amos Lake in Connecticut. Um, this is kind of where we're at. Um, we did the southern half. Uh, this one doesn't look too uh, impressive, but trust me, I'm going to blow your mind away. Uh, for those of you who have been watching these, uh, we're soon to make you... Uh, side imaging and sonar experts uh, by the time we're done with this lake you're you're going to be able to win those tournaments no issues um <clears throat> uh we've already covered the southern half of the lake we've already covered how to make um the polygons for the maps everything else uh i'm not gonna i'm not gonna feed this one to you so if you want to learn where we're at and how we're doing this, then you got to watch the previous episodes. Um, I'm not doing this for viewers. I'm not doing this to make money. Uh, I'm doing this because I want to make you a better fisherman. I want you to catch uh, up here in Connecticut, uh, six-pound bass is considered a trophy fish, and very rarely does it happen. Uh, a lot of guys claim they catch them, but uh, I ain't really seeing it. I'm catching one of these about every other week. Uh, five pounds is normally my average uh, I know <laughs> a lot of people would like to argue with that but uh, I've got proof and if you watch my other videos you've seen me catching several in the uh, four and a half to five pound range pretty regularly um, so uh, I wanted to sit at home and watch uh, videos on Amazon all day and, and dick off but um, we're gonna finish this lake we've already done the southern half of the lake um, this image right here is not a uh, good representation of what we've done, but it will be. Um, took several tracks along the top half of the lake here, the northern half, and we're going to finish that. So I showed up to the lake around noon. I saw a dozen or so trucks up here, and I knew there was a fishing tournament going on. <sighs> Here's the deal. When things like this go on, you stay out of their way. Uh, let them do their thing. Take your tracks where you can. And come home and read your data. Uh, I ended up talking to these fellas after their weigh-ins. Um, they're the uh, New England Bassin. They say that's uh, Future Bass Fishing Team Individual Tournament Series. Uh, actually, really nice guys. Most guys I meet from uh, Bass uh, Tournament Series are less than, um, they're assholes. I'll put it that way. Uh, these guys are really nice. A uh, couple of them uh, displayed interest in getting a decent uh, contour map slash side scan mosaic. This this particular episode focusing on contour and structure you didn't know was there based off contour and ability for bass to run to deeper water and I'm gonna show you I haven't even reviewed the data but I'm gonna show you I know where they're at based off of the contour map and then we'll pull up the standard sonar and I'll point them out so do know what I'm talking about uh, if you've been following me, you know I'm not messing with you. So, uh, let's get to it. Um, I'm going to start a whole new map. And I'm going to pull up... Uh, where is my Reef Master 2.0? There it is. Um, just started a... Uh, it's got an update. So, I'm just going to make a new one. And we're going to call this Aim is Final. Make a new location under Amos Lake. <clears throat> Miss the nail, that's fine. Boom. Uh, I've got a lot more tracks. Uh, took a lot of data today. Talked about uh, not interfering with um, fishermen while they're fishing. Um, Try not to. Is this coming up? Waiting on it. 
Is anything going to happen? And we'll just browse. Uh, if you're doing Hummerbird, it's .dat. And if you're not, I don't know what it is, but you'll figure it out. And we've got a lot more tracks than we did on the first one. did not work. Control shift. Uh, 23 files, um, about four gallons of gasoline, um, 15 cigarettes, three coffees, uh, three different um, uh, CDs and just jamming out, driving around. Uh, fellas I talked to, they thought I was just trolling for trout. What they don't know is, well, I think, I think, and I'm just guessing here, but I think I found the fish that they had no idea about. So, I think their biggest one they told me about was... Uh, just shy of four pounds. I think we'll find one in the six to eight pound range. Uh, definitely would have made someone's day. Not going to go too much into the sonar unless we find uh, what we're looking for. And what we're looking for is uh, structure and or shoreline that nobody knew about. And I watched some fish uh, while I was driving around and I'm not knocking anybody here, but they're beating the banks. Uh, beating the banks pays off sometimes. And unfortunately, I think today is kind of a bad day to beat the banks. I'm going to remove that one. And continue. Um, not a big due to waypoints. Uh, didn't select any. And... Boom, we're in our workspace. So the software is ReefMaster. If you want to know more about it, I'll watch one of the previous videos. Uh, covered a lot of the lake today. Uh, did a lot of tracks and well, we did a lot of driving. New map project. Amos. Contour final. I'm going to go ahead and bring in map boundary. We've already made these. Um, once again, uh, watch one of the previous videos to get that. We're going to go ahead and define map area. Uh, I did tell you guys in the past that make these smaller but it turns out the reef master 2.0 it's not really a thing Let's select all of our tracks and we're going to import them into Amos contour final very little of the lake I haven't covered um, it was windy today it was brutally windy and uh, some of what I gathered is overlapping, not intentionally, um, but it is. Guess I gotta define it again because I should should have click generate map prior to this. Edit. Aim a shoreline. We're going to go ahead and select that, or uh, from island to shoreline, and generate map once again. Boom. And missing a few spots. Uh, interpolation is at 50. Um, did some looking into that. Well, we talked about interpolation on the last one. Um, thought it was some kind of set of differential equations. It's not. It's a uh, 
just some standard algebra uh, y equals mx plus b so basically you're guessing the distance between the two um, this is not bad go ahead and bring this up to 75 generate map and we should have a full map and I'm going to tell you this is within I, I would say a six inch guess you know six inch um, margin of error let's uh, bring our majors to, to keep them Five. Boom. So here we go. We've finished uh, based off the data we took in the first half or the first video, which was the southern half. Um, which includes a couple runs through here. Uh, these guys, once again, they were they were beating the banks pretty hard, and I didn't want to get in the middle of it. You know, um, try to keep my distance. Uh, definitely keep your distance when you're doing these. Um, 45, 46, 47, 48, or actually 48 and 49. So we're still maintaining uh, the same depth. The, it's been raining lately. The the I I chalked the boat ramp. <laughs> this is one thing I do. I I'm gonna go in and take a piece of chalk and I mark the boat ramp at the lake level, so I know if it's changed and whether or not I should be able to um, determine something based off that as far as what I need to change and uh, my offset. Let's take a look, quick look at the lake. Um, when you're fishing these, I'm not going to get in too much how to make these. We've already discussed that. We're going to talk about how to fish it. Um, right here is a very popular side of the lake. Uh, you can catch fish here. You're going to catch some junior bass. You know what? In order to do this, let's go to 3D view. Let's talk about a couple things. Um, where are the bass? They're going to be in an area that has food, structure, uh, vegetation to hide in, and a quick runaway. Right here is a quick runaway, but it's not a. You want to focus on something that has more of a gentle slope. I look here, I see more of a gentle slope maybe right off I you could be at this 15 foot mark um, keep yourself positioned in this area and work at five that five area right there um, the way this extends this uh, let's call it an underwater peninsula when you watch boats they come through here like this and they keep beating that shoreline and they beat it hard but down here is a shoreline they didn't know about so if you were to come here work that 15 foot line which is a gentle looking workway down to this 30 foot they're possibly comfortable in the 30 to 35 foot range they have to run from something something some type of prey something that scares them If I had to guess, man, uh, this area right here, all throughout here, boy, uh, this this one's calling my name. Let's see if we can't find something. Uh, 
Okay, this one covers that area. Let's see if we can't, some fi can't find some fish. So we've got deep water here where the blue line is. Uh, right now, the sonar viewer and the side scan is still loading. Uh, deep, shallow, shallower, extremely shallow. Here is our side imaging view. Um, pretty representative of what we were looking at. Um, look at this. Um, right in the middle of this feature, on the northern half, in the middle of, you can see where my cursor is. Uh, when we do the side imaging mosaic, we'll be able to get in this more detail. But where my cursor is at is a shallower area with a runoff to deeper water. Let's let's go over that. I'm gonna say forty. Forty over here. Let's do a different palette for this one. Where's the boat? Push play. Lots of arches, uh trout definitely come back through and we're about to hit the rim of that bait fish trout I think on this one we found some structure right here let's watch what happens when we go over the structure If I'm if I find something hugging the structure, and here's the deal, it's still kind of pre-spawn. So, you know, some of the fish may have spawned at this point. Um, don't see anything hugging the structure. Let's watch as the structure starts to build up. I see bait fish coming in. A serious arch above them. That mm, uh, we're gonna call that a trout. Another what looks like an arch, we can call that a rock. Going over this shallow area that leads to a deep water runoff that provides kind of easy to navigate passage so this uh, peninsula that we brought up we're driving right over the top of it underwater peninsula I guess you should call it I don't know something's drawing me to this one one fish two fish Oh my god. Look at that. That is. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Uh, that is not vegetation. That is bait. And that is a large amount of bait. It's showing in the water column, the side imaging. I'm going to uh, bring up this uh, mouse tracer. So you'll be able to see on the mouse tracer on the left side of the screen what I'm highlighting. Wow, uh, that is a huge bait ball. Let's keep driving a little bit. Another gigantic bait ball coming into view. Like this, this almost looks like a tree on the down imaging. Uh, it's not that is so I'm not getting a hard return you know right here is is my hard return to yellow I'm getting some yellow in here there might be an old buoy hanging from some line but 
Wow. Holy smokes. I've not reviewed this data. <laughs> um, that is the... Uh, some of these may be trout, but I, I, let's see where this says this is. It's right on the edge, and right here. Deep water runoff. That arch right there, that's bass, and it's not a small one. If if I had to guess, just based off what I've seen, what I caught. Easy five pounds. Let's see if this continues as I come back on the next uh, track. Let's see what we catch. Some structure, fish sitting off the top, possibly trout. Once again, these arches on the down imaging, I wouldn't concern them too much. Uh, we've gone over that a little bit. Big rock right here, not very tall. An arch right here as the water's coming up. Possibly more fish right here. So let's go ahead and stop that. Let's bring this back to what we were looking at. So here's a peninsula nobody was fishing. And they didn't fish this area. Completely ignored it. Maybe these uh, arches are possibly gigantic crappie. Uh, I don't feel so. Maybe right here they were crappie. Um, maybe this is an old tree. It just has a huge amount of bait above it. I doubt it though. This was bait moving around as I was driving over it. These are fish feeding off the bait. This is where that tournament winner was. Uh, this is where that trophy fish was. Holy smokes. I should have busted out my fishing rod. when I, I, I kind of noticed the peninsula as I was driving over it, but I didn't pay it too much attention because... I was trying to avoid kayakers and bass fishermen and, and just try to get my tracks and take them as we go. Holy smokes. Anyway, let's get back to our contour map. Here it is. Uh, this is I'm done with this lake. Uh, this contour map is as good as it can get. Um... There's all sorts of different colors and whatnot that you can apply to these. I'm not going to do that. Um, go back to the global view. Zoom in. We'll talk just a quick second about if it's going to show them. The tracks that I took. Okay, here's one of the tracks that we used to make this map. Well, we used all of them, but I know what you're saying. This isn't straight up and down. It's not ideal, and I, cr I crossed points at some points. But, man, it's windy. Uh, I got current, and, you know, you're fighting the current. You're fighting the wind. You're fighting all this stuff. You get what you can. Just see what happens when we put this all into a side scan mosaic. Just a basic one. The next one we're going to go in detail. Uh, detail some stuff. Wow. I know for a fact, next time I come out here fishing, 
I'm going to work this bank that no one knows about. Nobody knows about this. And I look at this point, this uh, point right here. Nobody knows about that. Um, probably some structure right on top of it. I can fish that and catch a decent one. Let's go ahead and export this to Google Earth. Name is final. Name is contour final. Let's open up Google Earth and see what she looks like. Pretty impressive. Um, can't do this with your auto chart. Can't do this with uh, anything in particular. I told those fellas I'd get them a decent contour map and eventually a side imaging mosaic. How many I got these going on right now? And pull that off. And So here we go. So what Amos Lake looks like bathymetrically. And now uh, that one hour driving you spent uh, really paid off. And man, we found some big ones down there. Uh, right here seems to be the hot spot in the lake. And let's compare this real quick to what the state has to show. Uh, nothing that is entirely ac inaccurate that does not represent this in, in, in the least the state your cell phone or sonar unit so I'm gonna shoot off an email to these fellas and uh, give them this contour map and I have a feeling they're gonna catch a bigger one next time they come out here when they realize uh, where to be um, oh man when you're looking at these contour maps look for gentle slopes that provide cover and provide a runoff uh, this bank right here gets beat hard but it just doesn't have that surrounded cover runoff for them to, to take to deeper water uh, this is another area right here that I think would really really pay off see if this isn't loaded so here you go uh, basic side scan mosaic this is not edited once it's edited all those uh, lines that don't meet up and don't make sense will be completed and fixed um, good looking lake it's got some features like in this area in this area that aren't necessarily um, they don't look like they belong on the map but I guarantee you once I get all these trimmed down and I don't know what you're thinking you're thinking like what do you mean trimmed down uh, we don't click on that um, like I can take uh, one particular track, I can shrink it down, I can match it, I can cut it, I can make it opaque, and this takes time. And basically, what we're going to do is it's it's like painting with the side scan. So we're going to take these side scan tracks, which honestly, without any editing, they don't look bad. And for someone that understands side imaging, you can look at this and you can be like, yeah, I know what's going on here. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to make it a more easy readable. This is a bad representation, but we're going to make it a, something really easy to read. And we're going to get rid of all the convoluted data and all the other nonsense. And we'll be able to layer this on top of the contour map. And once it's on top of the contour map, You've got a very, very good image of what's going on, 
and yes you can put this on your cell phone you can put this on your sonar unit and it's going to change the way you fish so one thing we didn't go over is you know where my mouse is right now pull it away so you can look at it it's a huge amount of rocks down there um, nobody knows what's going on down there I don't ever see anybody fishing there but I have a feeling they're there um, wow not complaining with this one we're gonna make it really pretty in the next uh, installment of this uh, once again I don't make no money off this uh, don't ask for anything um, uh, this will be much rounder, just guessing, off what we viewed. Um, it won't be perfect because uh, it's hard to take uh, straight lines when the weather's like this and when you're zigzagging around canoers. Um, I'll get into how to take tracks uh, more efficiently, uh, correctly. Um, and how to space them about so you'll notice here we don't have a water column you can you know let's bring up a specific track real quick uh, show the side imaging you see this uh, area right here water column there's no data and when we go back to this you'll see that the data will be eventually filled in everything will look smooth and simple and cool and you'll be able to fish it in a way you've never fished before anyways um, if you have any questions hit me up um, I'm gonna not be as detailed as it's to how I'm operating the program or how I'm making the decisions I've made watch the previous videos um, make you a better fisherman uh, kind of change the way that you like to fish and put you on some bigger ones. Uh, also, uh, I work with a great group of guys, Adapt, Adapt Outdoors LLC. Got a website, adaptoutdoorsllc.org. Um, take disabled individuals, all ages, all, size, all sorts of dis disabilities, and uh, take them out fishing. And we help you know quite a bit um, so uh, probably tomorrow I'll get another episode out on side scan mo mosaic and we'll clean all this up and it'll all be in line and correct and it'll blow your mind away as we put structure together that you never knew existed and I have a feeling there's some things in the middle of this lake that we don't know about yet but we'll find as we uh, clear through all this and I'm going to make a couple files and send them off to those guys so they can upload them into their units as far as the contour map. And we'll see how, uh, how they do. Anyways, thanks and have a good one.